garage attic space. So we got electric heater here and the blower motor just runs non-stop with no call for heat. Um, so this right here is the relay that controls the blower. This here is for heating, heating blower. And this right here is for when you're calling for fan. Okay, so this right here is a normally closed switch. This is a normally open switch. So 24 volts here energizes when calling for fan, which will close and open, which will open this and close this, turning on just the fan. But for some reason we're receiving high voltage to this with no call. So there should, this is a normally closed, so when there's no call, this fan will not turn on unless the heat strips are energized. So for some reason we have high voltage going into this relay, which is energizing the fan. So we need to find out why that is. Hmm. So here we go. So that switch is stuck closed, which it should be open. So that explains why we're getting power to this relay. So the idea is, is this heat mode, this fan will go into heat mode unless the strips are called for. If the strips are not called for, no voltage is sent to this relay so the fan doesn't turn on. Unless you call for fan, then 24 volts goes to this relay which will close this switch which will energize the fan only so for some reason this switch here is stuck closed which is interesting so that means we do have a heat strip running um yeah so it looks like we found our culprit here so it's looking like it's a sequencer up uh, the sequencer relay is Okay, so I have no call for anything. And see that heat strip is running. And that's because that one. See, we don't have anything on any of the others. It's just that one strip that's running. Yeah, so here's our new one. So you can see, no beep. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, so we got the new sequencer installed. This is our old one, so it's pretty straightforward. You just do it exactly the same way. Um, I added a screw on the bottom just to make it a little bit more secure. Uh, so we should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and cycle it on, and uh, when I do this, the uh, fan should not run. So here we go. Okay, nothing happened. So that's actually a good thing for once. So we're gonna go ahead and cycle the fan, cycle the heat, make sure everything's work, turning on when it's supposed to. And then we will check the filter and we're gonna check that run cap too while we're at it. And just make sure everything was working fine. Okay, so we're checking the run cap just to cover all our bases. It's a seven out of 7.5 out of 7.5, so it's good. And then we'll make sure the filter's clear. And then we will check all our amp draws. Okay, so we got the power back on. We're gonna go ahead and cycle fan only. So the and we're gonna amp it out. All right, so amp draw looks good. We're gonna go ahead and make sure it shuts off. All right, cool. So now we're gonna go ahead and energize our heat and see, make sure that that works normally. Keep in mind it will take a minute for it to come on because it's sequencers. All right, there's our fan. Okay, so that one's on. Let's do it. That one's on. That one's on. Okay, so they're all on. So 
So we're gonna go ahead and de-energize. Now it will take a minute for it to shut off. Okay, that one shut off. That one's still going. Okay, that one just kicked off. This one's still going. And this one will probably shut off at the same time as the fan. So what my best guess is. Yep. Sweet. So everything seems to be good. I'm just gonna go ahead and just double check, make sure all of them are off. Yep. So yeah, so it looks like it was a uh, bad sequencer. So anyway, hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment to me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook.